Hello everyone, myself Isra Jahan and I am a front-end developer at uh, SG Innovation. So today I uh, will be discussing about uh, some uh, topics and some limitations about uh, GHL. So uh, with the expert here to uh, solve, uh, to give you the solution about GHL developing part and also sales part. So uh, before digging into my today's problem, um, I would like to uh, do a brief what is GHL and why do we use it. So uh, in one line, if I say GHL is, a, uh, is all in one solution for sellers and uh, marketing also and uh, also for developers because uh, it is uh, it will be a, a time saver for the developers for its um, drag and drop features so today's topic is uh, how do we uh, use the responsiveness in uh, ghl so um, it's actually pretty simple because uh, in ghl when we do a, a web page it actually uh, by default it has um, responsive settings it will do uh, responsiveness by default but sometime we uh, we need to change uh, something we need to change things by our own so how do uh, we do that so it's pretty simple if I go there and uh, you can see like it is the uh, it is uh, our um, desktop screen and when I go to a uh, mobile screen this is the mobile screen button so whenever uh, we go there it will show uh, just like this uh, this is its um, it is a uh, by default mobile uh, mobile uh, settings which is it's doing but if we didn't uh, like anything how do we customize this uh, we can go there and uh, um, if I'm not liking uh, this part in uh, this mobile version I can easily uh, um, I can easily remove this uh, by doing custom coding here is uh, my custom coding this part is basically in custom coding so uh, I uh, when I am not liking these things in my mobile version I can just uh, make it invisible in mobile version uh, so how do we do that we just go to advance and we click here and boom there is uh, nothing shown in mobile version but it will be in the desktop version so uh, this is how it works and also uh, if we uh, want to do some more changes like some more custom CSS so we can also do from here if I click here and uh, go to advance I can just uh, copy this copy this uh, section uh, section uh, title sorry uh, copy this so copy this uh, selector CSS selector and uh, go to custom CSS and just okay so I have also written here some media query uh, um, uh, and of course whenever we are doing custom coding we need the uh, media query so I am putting it here and Just changing a uh, background color I'm just doing is for showing how it works okay so one more important thing sometimes uh, whenever we are uh, doing the uh, custom uh, custom CSS and uh, at that point of time uh, we may got some overriding things because uh, some another class is overriding our class so uh, avoiding these things we uh, we are uh, 
putting here that important part important um, things so so that it it is not overridden uh, by any other class so just see what is happening okay so let's go to the preview go to mobile version and yes it's working it's perfectly working um, i have put uh, put it into the uh, red background so that's how it works and also uh, also something like uh, we can't hear uh, we can see there is a, in background is not red in my editor because it's uh, sometimes GHL uh, behave like this and that I can't see the changes in my editor but whenever I'm going to the preview version uh, I will see the uh, see the changes and it will reflect there so that's how uh, we can use uh, the um, mobile responsiveness and it's actually pretty much easy in uh, uh, GHL uh, that's about it uh, thank you